it's cold. All right, it is December 21st, 2023. It's currently 7.53 a.m. And in about four hours, I'm gonna be having surgery. I've been a little incognito for the past couple weeks. So, what is my injury? I ruptured my Achilles. Yep, this happened uh, two weekends ago. I was playing football in the park, um, flag football to be exact. I stepped back as the play was about to start, dropped my heel down, something that I do millions of times. I heard a pop. So my initial reaction, I dropped down and realized no one was around me. And knowing what I know in my expertise in, in my field, I automatically knew it was my Achilles. So um, I looked at my calf, usually like when an Achilles rupture, you'll see it, the tendon and the muscle ball up in your calf. I didn't see that. Went to the doctors, to the orthopedics, went to get an MRI. The MRI said that it was a full rupture. So I am getting surgery today. Huge disbelief for me in the moment that it happened and, and I broke down into tears. It, for me, it was almost just like thinking that, damn, my body betrayed me. But as I like really sat down and started to play a lot of factors and views of like how this actually could happen. Age, I'm 31 now, I'm a lot older. Um, but it could be other things too. The pre-existing injury that could have led to it. And maybe my biomechanics were off. Um, I was playing on turf. There so many things, it's up to debate on what actually could have happened. I mean, I'm not coming up on here just to say, oh, what was me? I, I could care less. But what I do know for the future is that I have to work harder. I mean, I embrace the challenge. I embrace the rehab process. The only thing that sucks is just it's an inconvenience. I embrace the challenge. I embrace the rehab process. I've gone through it so many times. I actually enjoy it because it gives me something to look forward to. This is gonna be my little docu series. This is day one. Oh, and in the grand scheme of things, this is looking like a six to nine month recovery process. Let's going to take this one step at a time, as comfortable as possible with the guidance and directives of my medical team. And hopefully this helps out somebody else who's going through a similar situation and they find some side of some sort of insight and some motivation for themselves. So here we go. All right, good morning, everybody. First night after the surgery, just give you a little insight on how all that went. So the surgery took about an hour and then another hour in recovery. And then once I woke up, they just wanted to monitor me just to make sure my pain levels weren't too high. Felt a little bit of pain after, so they gave me some meds just to help that subside. And then was discharged home shortly after. So I got home, didn't have much of an appetite, but I ate just a little bit and then pretty much was ready for bed after that. So before bed, I took some pain meds just to help it, um, help me get through the night. But then a few hours later, the pain was still pretty bad. So I ended up taking more pain meds and I was pretty much good after that. And that's because the nerve block wore off, which they told me that would happen sometime in the middle of the night. So right now my leg feels like literally a hundred pounds. And this is my current situation right now. So I've got a huge splint on there, non weight bearing for a few weeks, and just to try to keep myself as productive as possible. See ya. All right, so we are a few days in to, into surgery. Six days to be exact. And so far, I'm feeling all right. Pain is gone. Not really experiencing any of that. I've traded my crutches for a scooter. I'm not here rolling. So I'm more mobile than I was a few days ago now. Like I said, the pain has dropped down. I only feel really just some numbness and stiffness when I sleep, so it can be a little uncomfortable. But besides that, just the inconvenience of not being mobile as I want to is really what's the downfall right now. I have about another 10 days before I go back to my doctors and they check out what's underneath this cast. Either they will give me a smaller one or I may have this cast on for a few more weeks. So in the meantime, just to keep my sanity, here's what I've been doing workout wise. Boy, the mentality of surgery. So, Mentioned me rupturing my Achilles. This hasn't been my first surgery. 
my first very very first surgery was a meniscus repair and this was like my sophomore year of college went through that no problem after that my next surgery was broken hand went through that <laughs> no problem third surgery was an acl tear went through that can't say it was no problem but i went through it so no problem now i'm on my fourth fourth surgery and that's the achilles repair so me coming into this i'm like all right i tackled two knee surgeries i tackled a hand surgery what's an achilles no big deal right no this one's a big deal um i'm not in college you know my responsibilities aren't as much as they are right now um i have things that i'm responsible for obviously car payments um, rent food all that stuff um, but I try to plan ahead for all this stuff, you know, for rainy day, because these things tend to happen. So for me, mentally, it's more so that of me not being able to do the things that I like doing on a regular basis. I like working out. I like doing working on my legs. I like running. Um, I like just being active. You know, I get up so many times out of the day. I like on a rest day, I probably get about 12,000 steps. And that's just like on a rest day. I'm usually active. It could be about 15,000 steps. And I get up for no reason. Like I can get up, go get a drink of water, go back and then get another drink of water. Like I just pointless movement is what I do. That's how I keep myself active. So the main thing for me mentally is that, you know, for someone who's been so active for so long and hasn't really had to depend on people like that, it's the shift of now being able to depend on people and that being okay for me mentally. I've kind of been the person that a lot of people would rely on for the most part, but now I have to rely on other people, which, it's not a bad thing, I would say, for most people to do. You just have to swallow your own pride and be able to accept the help that you're getting. So I give major, major credit to all the people in my life that's been helping me out, my family, um, my coworkers, close friends from here and far, and especially my girlfriend. She's been number one for me, helping me out since day one. And I really appreciate her for that. So I use this moment and this platform just to say that like when you're going through something tough and you're someone that's very very prideful maybe a little stubborn arrogant whatever you want to call it i define myself as all three it is very very important to set that all aside and accept help from people so that's one thing i'm learning right now going through this fourth surgery is being able to accept help from people so there you go